Good morning, cultists! Welcome back to another Unmalt Breakfast with Kutaloops. In our last episode, we won our invasion of the British Isles, so now we're in the process of obliterating all life there. So far, we've managed to clear out, I think, maybe a few counties. Yeah, I think this is probably going to take a little while, so expect to see a lot of uh, revolts and whatnot. In any case, we are currently attacking Abyssinia and Aden, and I think, I don't know, I think maybe we might want to go for an invasion of uh, the Abbasids now rather than later, because right now the Abbasids are currently attacking the Aden in order to vassalize them, and if they manage to siege down any of the Aden territories, then it's going to get messy because we can't take it from them because we're not at war with them, etc., etc., so, let's just do it. Let's just go do an invasion of Arabia. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, really? They have territory here? Ah, uh, jeez. Alright, well, let's not forget that then. The Rash? He's known as the Rash? Good grief. And he's only got that one county there. So, how is he not an exclave? Oh, right, his liege. I see. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Alright, well, that's fine. Um, in the meantime, I have pumped out 10,000 uh, horse archers in my capital, which will, of course, then mitosis into, um, or metastasize into... Metastasize? No. Mitos? I forget what the uh, verb of mitosis is, but they'll um, asexually reproduce to, uh, to uh, 20,000 troops. And I'm going to deposit the 20,000 troops in the Iberian Peninsula to deal with that nonsense that's going on over there. In the meantime, why don't you guys get to more blasting of asses. Actually, why don't you make a detour into the Aden? Yeah, I think that might be a good idea there. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good. Also, another thing that I did in between episodes is I cleared out my dungeons yet again. And I have uh, managed to isolate a few candidates that I'd like to keep in house arrest until they are recruitable uh, because they have the uh, Solomonic blood which I'd like to um, jam into my own blood veins wait how did I become a paragon of virtue I thought I spent the vast majority of my piety banishing people from my dungeons well you know what let's not kick a gift horse in the teeth here the last time I did that I lost my ability to build all buildings in uh, one day in my capital which I sorely regret. I don't know why that reset, by the way. <laughs> I'm just kind of making that uh, whole kicking gift, gift horses in the teeth thing. Alright, so with the war against the um, Abbasids, I feel like it's probably going to take a little while. And apparently my son, a shot, has gone on and uh, killed some dude in personal combat. Good for you, a shot. Good for you. Way to keep up the family tradition. Uh, I suppose maybe swinging up north to deal actually with the Aden might not be the worst idea in the world. And of course the uh, Abbasids have had their tributary states join in on this um, royal rumble. Which is fine by me. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. You're burning stuff down. That's great, cool. Let me know when the entire county is available for um, restructuring. As in, restructuring from civilized society into gigantic mass graves of heathens and filthy infidels, etc, etc. Okay, what's going on here? What's with the, uh, what's with the lag? Come on, don't do this to me. What, you had to dig deep to get me this notification? That some stupid trade post is... Come on, man. What's wrong with you? Unbelievable. Swift Helm of the English Revolt. Alright, well, revolt all you want, because, uh, you have no chance to survive, make your time. I'll guarantee you that much. Thank you, and yes, let's do some battlefield sacrifices. I forget what they actually get me. Um, oh, personal combat skill and zealousness. Interesting. I didn't realize that it was actually personal combat skill. I thought, I thought if anything, it would be um, me getting uh, a boost in my morale or some such. But no, it turns out that I was completely and utterly wrong. Which is to say that 
it's status quo and all things are as they should be. All right, I suppose we should make our uh, bid for um, Abbasid territory since we, I think, have more than enough people to deal with Abyssinia and the uh, Adan or Anad or whatever the hell they are. I've completely forgotten what they're called. My bad. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to imply that you're completely irrelevant, but you kind of are. All right, there you go. Thank you. And the last one, too. Sure, I guess we'll take whatever the uh, Aden uh, have taken. Ah, right, it would be Aden, considering that the name of their uh, capital, I think, is Aden. Thank you. And move on. Sweet. All right, so boats, have you? Aha, good. Let's get you guys ferried across. And in the meantime, it seems that we can advance in culture, surprisingly enough, despite the fact that we have the fewest amount of uh, technology points there. Let's go for tolerance. Yeah, I think that might be somewhat useful in uh, lowering the opinion malices that I'm getting from uh, people who think that I'm some filthy heathen. Come on, you're the filthy heathens, you uncultured swines. Good grief. Wait, is swine already pluralized? Is it one of those singular plural things? Because you don't, you don't say swines, do you? No, I'm pretty sure it's just swine. Never mind, I apologize for that. Swine. Oh, good dude there. Good dude. Too bad he hates me. Um, is it because I've imprisoned your wife? I mean, I could just kill her right now. Would that upset you? Who's this guy? I don't know who that is. You know what? Nah, let's not do it. That's just cruel and unusual, isn't it? Oh, well. I mean, cruel and unusual is my n middle name. Literally, of course, it is my middle name. Uh, let's have you guys go there, and then these guys can go north. Sweet. Up to Wag, and I believe that should be... What the hell? Come on, man. You can't do that. I mean, you can. It's well within your right to do so, but still, you can't do that. What a dick move. Good grief. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's actually try to tussle with the Abbasid troops. I think we have more than enough over there to deal with them. Thanks. And take that, too. I'm pretty sure we have all of the... Oh, wait, no. My bad. We don't have all of the uh, Abbasid... Or, sorry, Abyssinian uh, troops... Or border... Lands. Good grief. Just gonna be one of those days, eh? Just gonna be one of those days. Alright, so once you take... Usaso, we should be good. Aha, look at that. I believe some of the uh, counties in the British Isles are now becoming uh, properly Hellenic, which is to say devoid of life. <laughs> nice. And just that one county left. Fuck it. Stop bothering me about those stupid petty thieves. My god. Good grief. Okay, let's have you guys go up. You know what? No, actually wait until the other stack has gone by. I think that would be good. Catholic Revolt. Go shit all over their faces. With their consent, of course. And some elder dude is going around praising my name. He's not even in my realm. Why do I care? Trick question, I don't. Don't bother me. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There you go. Fix that for ya. Jerk. And... Fantastic. Hey! <laughs> nice. So, oh right, they're actually part of another dynasty, I see. Can I recruit her though? Yeah, I can. Great. Miss, let's get you married off and pumping out some, uh, babies. Maybe... wait. Didn't I see someone in your dynasty who is a genius? I think I did, yes. There we go. Except I don't think I can recruit her, and she's also currently married, which is a shame. Hmm. If perhaps we can get this guy killed. No, okay, well, never mind. Okay, is she in house arrest? No, let's put her in house arrest. Let's just put all their dynasty members in house arrest. I don't want them to die prematurely or some such nonsense. 
House Arrest, and also Heritage Focus. Same thing, as usual. Oh, I should have just done by this. There we go. Now it's somewhat organized. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that pro tip before. Um, though it's not really pro, and it's barely a tip. It's barely the tip, okay? I can't help it. That's just how it is. You? You're batshit crazy. Um, and you have syphilis. But you know what? I'm gonna let you, uh, go. And pump out some babies, please. Thank you. Oh, shit. Where was that? Oh, right. This lady. Let's get her married. Good grief. Apologize for that. Uh, let's get you married off to... Mmm... Um, I suppose anyone with... Actually... If I could get you married off to some dude with wolf's blood... That would be pretty sweet. Or maybe I'll get you married off to... You know what? I'll have my, um... Hmm... I suppose then it doesn't really matter. You know what? Sure. Go for it. Uh, get married to one of my sons. And pump out some babies with the Solomonic blood. So that we can get that integrated into our own system, etc, etc. And let's have me lead the troops. Followed by Constantine and then Ergi. Or maybe we'll go with Sovix. Yeah, you know what? Sovix could uh, stand to learn a few lessons from our upcoming tussle there. And we will, of course, land directly into their uh, little lands here. Sweet. Right. Great, thanks. Some dude has become a Hellenic too. Good for you, dude. Good for you. Let's do a battlefield sacrifice. The Patriarch of East Sargis. He's the Patriarch of the Nestorian Faith, who has now been sacrificed to Zeus. Fantastic. <laughs> and let's do another rain dance. Why not? Why not? Thank you. And move up north. Let's not forget this little uh, holding there. And you guys are donezo. Why did I move to um, India with my map? My bad. Where are they headed? Halaban? Okay. Try to take the top holding in Mecca and then follow them in there. I'm thinking with the Abbasids, maybe we'll just do um, a siege of their top holding and then move on. Because otherwise, it's going to take a little while though, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe we'll just do the top holding and then do that. And also, I'm going to pump out some more uh, retinue. Because um, I think we might also want to attack from the north. Otherwise, we're just going to be swarming in from the south and that's going to take far too long, I feel like. Besides, we're going to need to pump out uh, 200,000 eventually in order for us to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, China. I think. Though, I know for a fact that they sometimes match your uh, number um, past a certain point. Uh, I think they have like a... I forget what the set number is, but then... Well, I, I feel like it's a set number. It, or maybe it's a set range. And then uh, once they once you go above that range, they'll just match um, whatever you got, so... Eh, I suppose it's kind of diminishing returns in a sense. Alright, that's fine. Of course, the Catholic Uprising has been completely quashed. Thank you. And let's take that top holding. Uh, some other dudes can take care of a seer. Yeah, yeah, we got another stack coming in, so let's not worry about that too much. You guys, in the meantime... For the stuff in Andalusia, uh, or the Iberian Peninsula, I'm actually gonna take over everything. Because what else is this stack of 20,000 gonna do, right? Yeah. It's not like they have anything else to keep them entertained. So I'm doing it for them. I'm doing it for the troops. There you go. Fantastic. And move on to Hodger. You guys are taking your sweet ass time, and we have yet another Catholic uprising. Unsurprisingly. Go deal with that, please. Thanks, guys. Sweet. Okay. I don't really care, but thank you. And speaking of family members, I just gotta occasionally check to make sure that, um, other family members of mine aren't being targeted by... Oh, Marshall. What are you doing, niece? Why are you trying to kill my other niece? And my other niece? Sorry, my half-sister is in on it. Unbelievable half-sister. Unbelievable. Who do you think you are? Good grief. Alright, take that, and... 
let's go ahead and try to follow their uh, troops here. Do a complete stack wipe if at all possible. Because otherwise they're going to be wanting to take their territory back and shit. Which is of course completely and utterly unacceptable. Hey, was it another Catholic uprising thing? Uh, yes, up north this time. Alright, go deal with that. In the meantime, I can imprison her for something and her for wanting to kill me. What the hell, miss? Just because you're batshit crazy does not give you the excuse to want to execute your or um, assassinate your own Pontifex Maxima. Good grief. I cannot believe that they were never taught that as a child. Alright, thank you. And who's this? You are my granddaughter. Let's have you go with martial education. And uh, please start sieging that shit down. Come on. You got it. You got it. There you go. Sweet. And move on to the next county. Fantastic. Though, the, uh, the con or the negative of not sieging down the entire county. I, I'm doing it again. It's just... It's just the force of habit at this point. It really is. Uh, but the negative of not seeing down the entire uh, holding, or the entire county rather, is of course that uh, we might miss out on any potential artifacts that we could have otherwise gotten from ransacking their shit. Sadly, we'll have to sift through their feces some other time. Alright, well that's fine. Thank you. And over to Muscat. And let's not forget this little island here of Uau. Uh, who are you? Tay? Sure, be Hellenic. a boy. Fantastic. That'll make recruiting much easier in the future. Over to Katif. And, um... Where are they actually headed? Okay, let's wait until they're in Daria and then we'll try to catch them there. I think that might make more sense. Can we just peace you out? Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks, I appreciate the, um, the uh, willingness to, to bend and spread your beautiful butt cheeks. There you go. Fantastic. Why don't you guys actually head on up north to over there? And then you guys can start your um, utter rampage of these places. And we'll be good. Sweet. What's this? She has, she's plotting treason against me. Okay. Can I arrest her? You've been arrested, miss. And I'm also gonna execute you. Merry Christmas. Hope they have Christmas wherever the hell you end up in. Fantastic. Thank you. And let's up, move on up north. I think we should be able to hopefully um, see a successful conclusion to this war in this episode. Wow. Holy crap. Look at that. That's looking nice. Let's have you guys go up north to, in order to prepare for the eventual utter destruction of the British Isles and uh, subsequent uh, re-ferrying of our troops back to the uh, main world. Thank you. Go siege that down and I don't think we can uh, benefit from any more battlefield sacrifices so forget about it. Forget about it. Move on and uh, these guys can actually get started. Uh, over here in Persia after they're done with that thanks to the little bridge thing there I don't know how exactly they get across maybe they just have their horses swim across which is of course fair because horses are surprisingly decent swimmers I think I could be wrong there's probably some equestrian uh, out there that's just, just like trying to write letter bombs to me with exploding ink and a shot has died from Terminal leprosy? What the fuck? When the hell did you contract leprosy? And why did you not turn into some badass warrior um, with a golden mask who goes around um, killing filthy heathenous uh, creatures and shit in dark dungeons? What the hell, man? You don't have to be a leper king in order to do that. Alright, thank you. And once you guys have taken that county, actually move on to the next place. Wait a minute. There appears to be some disease over here. Hmm, I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't go after these areas. That being said though, 
Marios is fairly old. And, uh... I think it's safe to say that she's contributed all she can to this world. So it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if she were to suddenly just... ...shuffle off her mortal coil. As it were. I don't know if you guys think the same way, uh, feel the same way. But, um, I think she's, uh, she's more than done enough for her dynasty as well as, uh, religion and realm, etc, etc. You know the deal. Maybe. Maybe it's time for her to be pushing up the daisies to join the choir invisible, etc, etc. Eh, you know what? I actually wouldn't mind if Mario survived into the end of the war to see her handiwork. To see the uh, her foes driven before her, to hear the lamentations of their men and women. Mm, though I suppose since we're fighting, uh, what's it, Sunni dudes, it would most likely be the lamentations of their many wives, I suppose. Oh well. So let's try to avoid the diseased places if we can. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We'll have another stack going there. And yeah, these guys can uh, go help out with the Persian area. Thanks. And you guys can swing on up north. Thank you. Making good time here, guys. Making good time. I'm still hopeful that uh, we should be able to see uh, all of this captured in this episode. And how are you guys doing over here? Wow, look at that. Making good progress. Everyone is making good time, it seems. Fantastic. Or at least it's a lot faster than I thought it would be, in any case. Thank you, and move on to their... Uh, we're not going to be able to catch up to them, but that's fine. Yeah, scholarly theologian. Good for you. Okay. How are you guys doing? Sweet. Why don't you guys start digging your way farther inland? Yeah, I don't care about your stupid Blood Oath, alright? You think I give a shit? You think I subscribe to Blood Oath Daily? I don't think so, alright? I cancelled my subscription to Blood Oath Daily. Please stop sending me subscription uh, notifications about Blood Oaths. Thanks. I mean, I didn't end and my subscription. I just kind of moved. But then they somehow found out that I moved. So then they have uh, just re um, re entered. What? Wait, there was a host invasion declared on us? What the shit? I didn't know that. Hey, I'm subscribed to host invasion, um, Zaras. Which should, of course, allow me to get the notifications about host invasions and whatnot. How come I didn't get that? And then I keep getting spams about fucking blood oaths. Tonight on E, this is... Check out the new clan that formed a blood oath with another clan. And next on the news, someone's got syphilis! Don't. Care. I mean, the syphilis part is pretty juicy, but, you know, otherwise. Are you guys good there? I think we can move our 20,000 back home. That being said, though, these guys aren't quite done with the policing of these areas, so... Let's just hold off. I don't think another stack of 20,000 is gonna be super beneficial. I think, in any case. Thank you. And no more battlefield sacrifices, thanks. Yeah. At least the uh, Arabia region should be fairly quick for us to take. Oh, there you go again. I started sieging down the next part of the thing. Just out of habit, of course. And I gotta say, having the um, siege or assault holding key be shift F as opposed to C is proving to be immensely useful. Now I don't just accidentally skip through dialogue options because I'm spamming the assault key. All right, all right, wait, what? Oh, right, we have stuff in India. I forgot about that. I forgot that India exists for us. All right, why aren't you seeking that shit down yet? Come on. Need I remind you the tale about the Knights of the Round Table? And how they um, built a uh, giant uh, wooden rabbit um, in record time. Yeah. Go ahead. 
Wait, I see 150 boats coming close to us, though. I don't know if that's maybe... Are they trying to land troops there? We may need to um, redirect some of our troops temporarily. Who's this guy? He's some dude. Oh, I see. Hmm. Hmm, no. I don't think I need to turn him into a lover. I think we're fine as is. Let's just be friends. Alright, 150 boats. I don't know what they're doing. Are they landing troops? It doesn't seem like they're actually landing troops. So maybe that was a bit of a false alarm. Alright, well that's fine. If it's a false alarm, please let me know, alright? So I don't waste my time dealing with you dick nuts. And sure, let's encourage that. We're good. Thank you. And their capital though, we will definitely siege to the uh, very end. Because I'd like to see if I can perhaps capture some of the uh, Caliph's uh, children, and also um, uh, take some of his artifacts and whatnot. I don't know what artifacts he currently possesses. Wait a minute. Okay, I see. I see how this is. Yeah, let's not forget about the uh, county of Chach over there. That's gonna be annoying. That's gonna be very annoying. Oh well. Thank you, and get started with their capital. Look at that. What? Sure, I mean, I'll arrest this guy for shits and giggles. What? How dare you? After all I've done for you, after I've deballed you, he's escaped? So who's the new patriarchal, uh, ecumenical patriarch? Patriarchal uh, miniarch. <laughs> I just found a new religion head. Fantastic. And who's this? You are my granddaughter, let's have you go with Marshall, and you are my grandson, let's have you go with learning education. Mostly for shits and giggles. Mostly for the shits. Some for the giggles. Oh crap, I've got two stacks in there, what have I done? Can't believe I've done this. Though, that being said, the two stacks would be immensely helpful dealing with uh, Prince Hafez's host crap. Though we are going to be taking some heavy, heavy attrition, I think. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can get right in there, because there's a county right next door that's uh, able to support our crazy number of troops. And I don't really care too much about the attrition that we're taking, considering how much we have in terms of manpower, how much we are in excess with our manpower. As a matter of fact, we're just barely under our um, maximum, if you can believe that. Come on, move on to the next county. Though, I may want to shift my self over to another county to avoid that consumption or whatever's festering in those counties there. Yeah, go deal with them. Please and thank you. Fantastic. I'm hoping that's an utter, complete stack wipe, and I become proud. Wow. Good job, me. Good job. Satanic, welcome to the fold. I guess, maybe. Hey, wait a minute. How did you escape? What the hell? Unbelievable. Alright, let's try to catch up to them. In the meantime, uh, the other stack, after they deal with uh, uh, Prince Hafiz or whatever the fuck his name is, we can go deal with Chach. Should be good. Should be good. And you captured the entire capital there. Very nice. Oh no! Disease lands! Mmm... Maybe I want to... Wow, okay. That's, that's good, thanks. I don't need that many, uh... Notifications. <laughs> good grief. Yeah, let me put myself over here. Oh no, measles! Good grief, everywhere I go! Alright, let's get you guys up north then. I think that might be the safest option. Jeez Louise. And over to the next county. Uh, you guys might want to help out a little bit there. And then the other stack can move. You know what, actually? Let's have you guys go on over there. Yeah, that makes more sense. Because between these two, the uh, rest of the counties here should be fairly easy for us to siege down. Thank you. And the Andalusian place is good. Uh, still a few counties left. Three counties. 
And everything else is siege down for the time being. Sweet. Very, very good. Go ahead. Fertilize those fields. You know what? I'm okay if we go over a little bit. Um, as long as we make sure to take everything um, in the opposites in this episode. And I really want to do this now because uh, if I do this now, then that means in between episodes I can set all these counties to be pillaged and shit. That way we don't need to... Um, we can keep our forces in this general area and then just do some policing for a little bit. Yeah, and hopefully there'll be a successful succession. And uh, we can rule as Soviks before we start completely and utterly annihilating India as well as Tibet. You guys go up north. Thank you. And we got 20,000 more troops coming in, which is great. Naive appeaser. Don't really care. Oh shit, Prince Hafiz? My bad. There you go. You dumb bitch. Mmm. Yeah, sure. Better interpretation. Wow, he actually made it to Chach in record time. Surprisingly. There you go. That's been dealt with. And now swing on down south. But watch out for the measles. Fuck that measles. Alright, over there. And yeah, you guys got this. Why don't you just all land over there? I don't know if these guys are going to be problematic. They might be, judging by kind of where they're headed. But I think we have a stack that's hopefully able to deal with all that nonsense. Where exactly are they going, though? I kind of wish I could... Well, you know what? I actually don't want to read their mind, because I feel like the mind of the AI is just kind of plain garbage. It's most likely just centered around uh, trying to seduce some um, people that they probably shouldn't. Oh, if I seduce this person and uh, bed them, the husband or wife is most likely going to have me executed, imprisoned and executed. So, cost-benefit analysis? DTF. And obviously they shouldn't be. And let's go for... Uh, castle infrastructure. And we will upgrade our wrestling. Hell yeah. So now we have um, Hell in the Cage and whatever. It's been 50 million years since I last saw any kind of wrestling thing. So me trying to make wrestling references, probably not the best idea. No. I think The Undertaker's still around, isn't he? I have no idea. I really don't. The last time I watched um, uh, wrestling, they had all the gimmicky characters, like that guy with a snake around his neck. I think, and the guy who, um, pretended, or who, who dressed up like a cop. Was it Sergeant Slaughter? I don't know, alright? That's how, uh, out of touch I am with the whole thing. What's this? What a dick. Absolutely not. Throw him into the fucking oubliette. He's a werewolf, no less. More rain dances, please. And I think we're getting fairly close now to owning the, everything that the Abbasids do. Yeah, as long as these jerk nuts aren't... Okay, that's gotta be problematic. Someone go deal with that, please. Ah, fuck me. Just when I thought that I could rest easy. No, turns out he's a giant fucking asshole. What a douche. Alright. Uh, move on to Bost. Hey, look at that! Ah, uh, Good, 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 good. I know you lost my uh, nephew as a husband, but at least um, you're still pumping out babies. Good job. I knew it was a good idea to have you matched up with some- Hey, wait. Since I'm your liege, I can just release you then. Great. What about the other- Well, just put that away and uh, deal with that some other time. As in, never. Oh no. Why? <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, they have taken it back. And I've lost kind. Well, you know what? I feel like that's kind of reflective of how I actually feel right now. With the whole, um... Seeing that I have over a thousand people in my court and most of them are prisoners nonsense. Yeah, I definitely feel that way in real life. Okay, so just one county left, basically. Oh, 
fuck off. Though I suppose we could just piece them out once we take that last little bit there. So maybe we don't need to worry too, too much. Thank you. I'm hoping that you guys are currently... Yeah, if they have no rebellion, it means that we don't need to worry about anything. I've got the tongue of a great hero. Great. I'm gonna use that to lick my prisoners. It's gonna be very, very disgusting. I think we have just about everything. If I've done this right and I piece them out, this guy should no longer be the ruler of anything. Let me just do another double check. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. And these guys should also be released from their state as a uh, tributary. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're Gouda. Really hoping I didn't miss some kind of stupid uh, dinky ass island that's not visible um, with a naked eye or whatever nonsense. Abbasids, I hereby take everything you own. Did we do it? Is it done? Have we done it right? <laughs> oh, oh, that feels so good. Hmm. Yes. And the British Isles are almost liberated of human life as well. Great. I'm like St. Patrick, except I didn't drive out the snakes, I drive out, drove out human life. Which is, I guess, pretty much the same thing. Alright, well, let's end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow, and um, in between episodes, I will set all these places to get pillaged. And, uh, well, you might do some policing of uh, rebellion or uh, revolts and whatnot, but it shouldn't be too, too bad. And then we'll get geared up to attack India and Tibet. Tibet, I'm leaving for last because we'll have to deal with the Western Protector and all that shit, too. Though I suppose they do have more tributary states in India than they do Tibet. So, hmm. Oh well, it's fine. Either way, it'll pretty much be the same thing in the end. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!